The topic of corruption in Christianity is a complex and historically nuanced one. It's important to understand that Christianity, like any major religious tradition, has a long and diverse history spanning over two millennia. Over this time, various forms of corruption and moral failings have occurred within Christian institutions and among individuals who identify as Christians. Here are some key points to consider. Historical context, corruption in Christianity, has occurred at different points in history and in different forms. Some notable examples include the selling of indulgences by the Catholic Church in the late Middle Ages, political manipulation of Christianity for power and control, and instances of moral failings among clergy. Reform movements. Many reform movements within Christianity, such as the Protestant Reformation in the 16th century, the Counter, Reformation within Catholicism, and later movements like the Great Awakenings and the Social Gospel Movement, were responses to perceived corruption and efforts to renew and reform the faith. Diverse interpretations, Christianity is not a monolithic tradition and it encompasses a wide range of beliefs and practices. Different Christian denominations and communities have varied interpretations of their faith and different responses to issues of corruption and morality. Positive contributions. It's important to acknowledge that Christianity has also made many positive contributions to society throughout history, including promoting moral values, advocating for social justice and providing charitable and humanitarian assistance. Individual versus institutional corruption. Corruption can manifest at both the individual and institutional levels. While there have been instances of corruption among individuals who identify as Christian, it does not necessarily reflect the beliefs or teachings of Christianity itself. Ongoing moral debate, the question of corruption in Christianity, continues to be the subject of theological and ethical debate within the Christian community. Many Christians and Christian institutions actively work to address issues of corruption, moral failings and social injustices. Interfaith perspective, it's worth noting that issues of corruption, moral failings and ethical challenges are not unique to Christianity. They exist in various forms within all major religious traditions and human organizations. In summary, discussions about corruption within Christianity should be approached with an awareness of its historical context, diversity, and the ongoing efforts within the faith to address moral and ethical challenges. It's important to avoid making sweeping generalizations about all Christians or Christian institutions. Based on the actions of a few, and to engage in nuanced and respectful dialogue when exploring these topics.